thought you left. I couldn't go. What happened? I guess as we were driving away, I finally started living in the moment. And I realized that in the moment, Greendale is where I belong. What are you doing out here? What board certifies a tutor? Not that simple. It's not? Oh my, Jeff! Gross! Well, sounds like you've got it all figured out, so why are you talking to me about it? Annie, do you remember the old talk we had? The one about discretion? Yeah, it's not that. So, do you try to evolve? Or do you try to know what you are? I don't know. I wish I could live two lives. <laughs> <laughs> and don't say it's because I'm jealous of him being with you. Oh, come on, Jeff. I'm sick of this. One minute I'm too young to date, the next you're trying to get rid of guys I like. Either you want me or you don't. What's it gonna be? I wish I could give you an answer that makes sense, but relationships are complicated and we're in the men's room. I could never forgive myself for what I did. Look, I treated you like a child for having feelings. Maybe because that's when I stopped having them. But you shouldn't. You don't have to be a kid to admit that you like people. Fat Neil. Blue Streak. Optimus Prime. Okay, even I know some of these are Transformers. Well, can we talk about something other than Annie's love life? Look, um, we agreed that you and I kissing was a mistake. It's forgotten, Jeff. Jeez, I'm not some love-struck teeny bopper. Feel the way I feel about you. The easy loophole through the creepiness and danger is to treat them like a child. It's a way for me to tell you how important you are from a distance. I like how close we are. I don't want to grow up if it means losing what we have. Well, tough, Annie. You have to grow up because the world needs more women like you. And I can't help but worry about you, Annie. You don't have to dress like this to grow up. You, you look like a travel agent. You don't like it? I was going for more of a professor thing. What? Why? What? Nothing.